Only qualified personnel should install Napoleon appliances and accessories. See product manual for details. This is part 2 of a two-part series, providing an overview of the installation steps for Napoleon's Ascent Linear Premium Gas Fireplace. This video will demonstrate how to remove the safety barrier and glass, gain access to the control area, to make electrical connections, gas connections, and air shutter adjustments, and finish the enclosure with drywall. To begin electrical and gas connections, the safety barrier and glass must be removed from the appliance. The safety barrier lifts up and off of the front of the appliance, providing access to the glass door. There are eight latches on the top and bottom of the glass holding it in place. Carefully remove each latch and lift the glass out of the way. The control area, under the firebox, can be accessed by removing the front panel. To do this you must remove the screws securing it. There are two screws on either side, and several screws on the bottom. The number of screws here will vary depending on which model you are installing. Once all the screws are removed, the front panel will lift up and off. You now have access to the controls and connections. It is necessary to hardwire the BLP to the household wiring. From the left or right, refer to section 6.1, 6.2, and all local codes for information on how to make all required electrical connections. The battery holder requires four AA batteries and is used to communicate with the Pro Flame 2 remote. Follow the steps in the installation manual under section 6.4 to connect the remote to the appliance. The control board is where all aspects of the appliance are managed. A wiring diagram is provided in section 6.5 for operation and troubleshooting purposes. All gas must be connected to the appliance from the left or right side, by a licensed certified professional, following all local codes in the installation manual. Using a manometer, the inlet pressure can be checked here, marked A, and the outlet pressure can be checked here, marked B. Acceptable pressure readings and adjustment steps can be found in the manual in section 11.1. The air shutter adjusts the flame characteristics and is preset at the factory. There is a cover plate which needs to be removed to access the Venturi for adjustment. It's important to adjust this before finishing the enclosure, as this becomes more difficult to adjust after finishing materials have been installed. Always allow 15 to 30 minutes of operation for final flame color to be established before adjustment. Details can be found in the manual in section 10.12. Once the connections have been made, the control cover can be reinstalled followed by the glass. After the latches have been attached to the door, check that there is a tight seal all the way around. In the event of excess pressure buildup, the product was designed to relieve this via the spring-loaded latch system. Ensure nothing prevents its operation. Once the seal has been checked, install the bottom trim between the glass and doorframe. The cutouts on either side of the trim fit around the doorframe, covering the control area and creating a clean look. Reinstall the safety barrier to protect the inside of the fireplace from dust and debris. The finishing framing must then be installed. Frame the enclosure in accordance with all building codes and to sufficiently support the selected finishing material. Once the finishing framing is installed, bend up the nailing tabs and secure the top of the appliance to the header. Secure the provided non-combustible board to the sides of the fireplace opening, followed by the top. This allows you to correctly center the top board. Apply the remaining finishing material around the appliance. Joint compounds such as Durabond 90 and tapes that are resilient to heat and cracking should be used when taping and mudding seams. Ensure there is a minimum of 3 quarter inches clearance from the top of the UHM opening to the finishing material. This gap will be covered by the grill once it's installed. See the video description for part numbers related to this installation. Click here to view the Wolf Steel Technical YouTube page. Like and subscribe to our channel to get notifications for new product and troubleshooting videos.